Hello and welcome, 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 welcome. It's so good to be with you once again on the the BBS show. It is the show where we talk about uh, how we can support people who have been uh, uh, affected in one way or the other with uh, cancer and how we can also be of inspiration to them. And as you already know, my name is Jonathan and uh, it's a wonderful time, it's a wonderful day today and uh, the Magdalene Yamu Cancer Foundation is actually uh, on a 16 day campaign uh, the flyer is on screen, you can see to end violence against women you know, the Magdalene Yamu Cancer Foundation is a foundation that is really geared towards helping women and uh, as you already know from the foundation uh, the inspiration we have in this foundation has to do with uh, the demise of Mrs. Magdalene Yamu, who happens to be my mother and she died from complications of breast and ovarian cancer. So any kind of uh, issue that affects women we hold so dear on the foundation. So the Magdalene Yamu Cancer Foundation is actually um, is starting from on the 25th which is tomorrow, uh, a campaign to end violence against women and this will culminate in uh, empowerment, in support, in uh, a whole lot of stuff to help our sisters, our wives, our mothers and our grandmothers out there. A lot of stuff have been going on in the country and uh, I was reading the papers yesterday uh, and I uh, I heard when the, uh, the, the president, President Moha, uh, Mohammed, President Bola Metinubu was in Germany and said he deserves uh, uh, to be in the Guinness World Record for the policies he, um, he has done since the inception of his government. You see, these are the things that uh, politicians just say. I want to ask, I want to use this medium as a, as a channel to speak to the people in authority or even to the president. Do you even... Um, do you read the papers? Do you even look at the? Do you even look at? Um, do you watch television? Do you do you get proper feedback? Because I really need to understand the feedback mechanism of the president if he really knows what is happening in the country. During the time of uh, President Muhammad Buhari, that was a president who was everyone could see that he was totally disconnected from the people he ruled or from the people he governed. We shouldn't, we shouldn't have the same, the same uh, issue with this current president because from the, from the indices, from what is going on right now, from all indications, it seems like there is a proper disconnect between President Bola Metinubu and the people he governs. From the length and breadth of Nigeria, there is austerity measure, there is suffering in the land from the north, from the east, from the west to the south, suffering and you say you deserve to be in the uh, Guinness Book of Records for your policies. Sir, what kind of policies? You floated the Naira before you even had a, coordination, a coordinating minister of the economy, you, before you even had a CBN governor, before you put together your economic team. And like you said in your inaugural speech, you talked about, you said uh, your, your, your aides advised you not to remove the, the, the subsidy on petroleum. But you went ahead to do it without any, um, um, when I call it, expert um, advice. The policies that you have put, that you have put on Nigerian people has brought nothing but poverty, sir. Poverty to the, to the land. And people are suffering really bad. So please, let us look at the, you need to go back and look at your feedback mechanism. Saying that you deserve to be in the Guinness uh, Book of Record, uh, Guinness World Record for your policies is something you shouldn't have said. It's a big shame. You know, it just shows that you are you, you don't even know what you're doing, sir. It just shows that you don't even know what you're doing. Because if you can come out to say that with what is happening in the country, it seems it's just they are just clueless. And I just pray, I just continue to pray for Nigeria because it is getting worse and worse every day. What is the, the minimum wage in the country? What is how much is a bag of rice? Look at what we are going through. And yet you come out and make such statements. 
It is so sad. Is Let so us sad. participate more in government. Let us look at what's happening in the legislature where we have thieves. Thieves ruling. Thieves ruling. I don't want to call names, but from the president of the Senate to a lot of members in the Senate, these are people who have EFCC cases, who have corruption cases, who have looted their, 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 their states when they were governors. It's just like a retirement home for governors who have looted the country, but these are the people who have knowledge. So let us not even go into the judiciary, whereby we're seeing uh, one party just just trying to, to rule with a, a rod of iron, just trying to oppress the people. Look at what is happening in Kano. Look at the judgment that was given in Kano. Not coherent. Look at our judicial system. And they say the judiciary is the last hope for the common man. How? The judiciary that have been compromised, is it the judiciary that has been compromised that is our last hope? There is nothing that can happen in Nigeria except a revolution. Except a revolution. We are individuals, we are citizens. We need to start taking the bull by the horn. I totally support people who are talking about, oh, let us, let, let, let there be a revolution in Nigeria. Honestly, because there is no other option option of dialogue has failed, option of people who have, that have good hearts have failed, totally failed. Now, the prayers that were sent into people's account in the, in the National Assembly, other parties, Afghan Labour Party, PDP, who are supposed to be opposition, they never spoke out. They never spoke out. When it comes to sharing of money, everyone is silent. But when it comes to political differences, oh, you see all of them jumping out. That is why, and my fellow Nigerians, we have to stand up. We have to stand up to the nation. We have to stand up and take our country back. Honestly, we have to stand up and take our country back. It is very, it is, it is in a dire situation. Now, this is, December is coming. In a couple of days time, we'll be in December. And we know what, uh, goes around in December, people dying, people rushing to buy stuff. Where is the money? People can't even build houses anymore. People can't do anything. And now we have a president saying that he's supposed to be in the Guinness Book of Records for his policies. Well, it's just a thought. This is just my thoughts this, um, this morning. I just want to share what is on my mind, what pains me in my heart about what's happening in my beloved country, Nigeria. And let us begin to look at these our rulers, look at these people in government and really start calling them out for what they are. Thieves. Calling them out for what they are. And I pity for the people who are dancing to their tunes. These guys will use you and dump you. So my well-meaning Nigerians out there who really, who are the intelligent, thinking, right thinking Nigerians, let us start taking, let us, let us come together to take our country back from these people. These are the people who said if the, from from 1980 something, the, the 1980 something, 1990 something. These are the same people. The crop of people we have are still in government. Now, Buhari, Muhammad Buhari can go back to to Daura and say, oh, oh, he has done his best. He did this. That was a clueless president. He took us back to the Stone Age. Everything from tw from 2015, the country has been going downhill, where people cannot speak. You speak, they come after you. Whatever you want to do, they come after you. They use the resources of government against you. Don't forget that we're talking, we're, we're giving out a little giveaway as uh, a means to cushion uh, the hardship. Just a little token in December. So all you just need to do is to keep it locked down on this channel, uh, the BBS show, and we shall be rolling it out. We have other social media channels on Facebook. It's the www.facebook dot com slash micf online and on twitter is at micf benin twitter or x at micf benin so just send us a message talk to us whatever we can do we can see how we can rub minds uh, together so always remember to be brave to survive goodbye and god bless you